and welcome folks to yet another let's play now this is one I wanted to be doing a long long time out so I wanted to do this when I first started unfortunately I didn't have a proper recording for them but welcome to back to the future the game now I am playing the PC version but I don't know where all the trophies are on the PS3 version so what I'm gonna do when there's like a trophy going to come up or when you, there's a missable trophy or basically whenever you so I'm going to show you, tell you where you get the trophies, how to get them and when just so it helps you out as well so anyway let's begin now this is episode 1 um, no in fact yeah I'll put it, I'll put it on just for this play this, I know what it is so I'll play this for this in this part I'm just basically going to do the, like, the first bit as bad as it sounds, it's a bit of a tease really, but yeah, I'm going to do the first bit. This is uh, another back recording. Yeah, I've uh, basically wanted to get a lot, of, I've said this many, many times before, of it, but I want to get a lot of back recordings, so this is going to be a back recording. Probably upload it in like two or three weeks time when I finish the rest of them, but I'll shut up for this. Alright, I'm ready. Good evening. I'm Dr. Henry Brown. I'm standing on the parking lot at Twin Pines Mall. It's Saturday morning, October 26th, 1985, 118 a.m. And this is temporal experiment number one. Come on, Ivy. Hey, boy, get in there. That a boy. In you go. Get down. Get your seatbelt on. That's it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Please note that Einstein's clock is in precise synchronization with my control watch. Got it? Right. Check, Doc. Good. Have a good trip, Einstein. Watch your head. You got that thing hooked up to the car? Watch this. Yeah, okay. Got it. Not me. The car. The car. My calculations are correct. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. Watch this, watch this. And we all know that's it now. It's no secret, I'm a massive Back to the U. It's a huge fan. Now this is the first trophy. Deja Marte, and you have to say the exact the same thing as film goes, which I'm sure many of you know, so easy to do this one. If especially if you're a big fan of the film, you'll know this one. Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ, Doc! You disintegrated Einstein! Calm down, Marty! I didn't disintegrate anything! The molecular structure of both Einstein and the car are completely intact! Well, where the hell are they? The appropriate question is, when the hell are they? You see, Einstein has just become the world's first time traveler. I sent him into the future. One minute into the future, to be exact. Well, uh, so. At precisely 1.21 a.m. and zero seconds, we shall catch up with him and the time machine. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Are you telling me that you built a time machine? And if it's a DeLorean? The way I see it, if you're going to build a time machine into a car, why not do it in some style? Besides, the stainless steel construction made the flux dispersal. Look out! Oh, what's going on here? This isn't right. Uh, this is it, folks? Doc? Oh, that's peculiar. Oh, uh, where's the car, Doc? It should have caught up with us. 27 seconds ago. Doc, uh, what happened to Einstein? No need for concern. It's probably just a minor miscalibration of the time circuits. Why couldn't you get my notebook? It should be in the toolbox. Now, for those on the PS3, you should by now have the Deja Marty trophy. But, obviously, something's gone major wrong. We don't know what, but... Why 
What's in the box? Don't touch that! It's plutonium! But, uh, plutonium? How do you think I generated 1.21 gigawatts of power? Ah, yeah, maybe because you... Well, I'm not going to say. Notebook, notebook. Got it! Flux capacitor? That's it! What the heck's a flux capacitor? My latest invention! The thing that makes time travel possible! In this notebook, I detail the nearly three decades of scientific breakthroughs necessary to build a working time machine. If it ever fell into the wrong hands, the consequences could be catastrophic! Let's see. It's mass equals high no, it doesn't matter what you say, he is, so but square root I'm just going to say times. some. Consequences could be catastrophic? Whoa. Deja vu. Now, one thing I want to point out, and that is room, there's quite a few things from that time. Marty, weird signs. Is everything okay? Frankenstein. Look, yeah, Miami Vice. Lots of was, TV was shows. Just a nightmare. Films and that kind of it was in the past. And Doc was there. Well, you're safe and sound now. Back in good old 1986. But you'd better get up. Your father's waiting for you. Huh? I think that's actually close to the weird times as well, folks. Holy crap, I'm late! I'm gonna end it here, folks. I know you're gonna end it, but I'm gonna end it here. I've been good games, and I will see you in the next video. Just kidding, folks, I wouldn't really do that to you. I wouldn't really do that. I've just seen that. <sighs> So yeah, but I said a nightmare. Put this back to the future of the game. Ah, the famous clocks. Back to the future game episode one. It's about time. Jewel's Road Box. The old uh, rude Goldberg machine for feeding Einstein. The clocks. Uh, the speaker. I'm sorry, but Telltale Games did an excellent job of making this game. Everything. Partly because the people, Bob Gale was a director and he was putting people. A state sale on May 14th, 1986. Dad! Are we too late to stop the... Sale? Better late than never. You wouldn't believe how much rare stuff there is back here. That's Doc stuff. The city has no right to... Now, son, I know you're upset, but your friend's been gone for months, and the city really seems hell-bent on using his land for that new parking garage, and... Hey, is that a first edition Jules Verne? It's just not fair. At least things can't get any worse. Hey, Marty! <laughs> Hi, Biff. Uh. Want to see if the old crackpot had any buried treasure? <laughs> Nah, I guess I'm just... ...remembering. I just... They really did a good job. Brought all, bringing the old stuff back and everything. Alright, just like the items. Fuck. Oh, it's... 
first oh, the speaker oh no let's make some noise see my eyes learn from his lesson not put it on fall anymore I want to know what it thinks. I want to know is how it in one piece. <sighs> Doc built this model of Downtown Hill Valley way back in 1955. The clock tower in the courthouse even works. What the? Too much. Is that Doc's notebook in there? That looks just like the courthouse. He got no. to the old coot. He was good with his hands. Uh, Biff, uh, can, can you see that a minute? This would look great in my fish tank. Give the old cop something new to nibble on. Um, I saw it first. Come on, I saw it first. Yeah, I guess you're right. But I picked it up first. And you're a douche. Give it here, Biff. Well, well, look at what we have here. Looks like plans for something. It's nothing What's here. A flux catheter? It's none of your business. Doc asked me to... Brown's worm food, kid. But this looks like it might be worth something. Ah! Yeah, like you could really wear that out, Biff. Uh... I don't need help. Hey, Dad? Why is my guitar got a price tag on it? Sorry, son. Must have been an overzealous clerk. Just pick it up. I iron things out with the back. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, uh... Inventory. <laughs> Here's an oldie. Bloody goodie. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, it's Chuck Butthead. <laughs> Let me show you how it's done. Now, Biff, I think that's Marty's guitar. Oh, <laughs> gosh. You see Biff still right, scared of Mr. McFly? Here you go, Marty. Let's hear a few licks. <sighs> Kids have ruined rock and roll. Not really. It is one of the best times for rock and roll. Uh, George, we need to speak to George. Talk to George. Hey, Dad. Who's running this sale anyway? Oh, that'd be me, son. You? Why? Well, once it became apparent that the bank was going through with the sale, I volunteered to oversee it in order to make sure that Doc's stuff would be treated with a modicum of respect. Isn't that right, Biff? You got it, Mr. McFly! About Biff, Dad, I know you're trying to help. He talks a big game, Looks like son, someone's... Don't so tough. that folks look like I've someone's with him really happy with time. it. Believe me. I can handle it. So can I. Suicidal pie, if you're watching. I guess you can. Okay, son. Oh God, this for I'll YouTube. stay out of your way. You know where to find me. <laughs> okay, right, let's do this. I'll keep looking around. Thanks, Dad. I had a bit of trouble getting this to load, annoyingly enough. Okay, I mean, paddy with me. And now, something your kids are really going to like. Ooh. Thanks for warming him up for me, butthead. Don't worry. You'll get your own, Biff. Now watch me blow the lid off this joint. Whatever you say. <laughs> Sorry, Biff. Back on, Biff. 
surprising that it didn't blow up. Tony 25th nineteen is fair to do. Where are you? Bulletproof vest. <laughs> well Does that answer your question, Marty? Well, 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 folks. What do we have here? No. I'm going to leave it there. And I'm really meaning to leave it there, so I've been good games. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.